Warning, entering nebula. Entering Federation space. Captain's Log Supplement. The Enterprise has arrived in the Shono Isho Epsilon system, where according to Adamant's data, we expected to find the world where the followers settled. However, our sensors show no Class M planets in the system at all. Helm, standard orbit. There is no response from the planet, Captain. Data, is it possible there's something we missed? I can attempt to enhance the scan matrix. That may increase our sensor resolution. Make it so. Aramot is a Ferengi. Maybe he altered his navigational logs to throw us off the track. That is a possibility. There is physical evidence, however, that Aramot did visit this system. What sort of evidence, Mr. Data? The hull of Aramot's ship had recently been irradiated by chromaton particles. Shonoisho Epsilon is the only star in this sector that emits chromaton particles. I don't think Aramut was lying to us about this location, Captain. I do sense life out there, but it's hard to be more specific at this distance. If the followers are out there, how do you propose we locate them? These are people who fled from persecution on Garid. They might be hiding deliberately. It may be better to let them locate us by sending out a general message of friendship. Perhaps one of our passengers could think of something that would encourage the followers to respond. There is no response from the planet, Captain. We've arrived at Aramut's coordinates, but if the followers are here, they're hiding. Do you suppose they'd respond to a message of friendship? Perhaps they would pay attention to someone who quoted the lawgiver. Captain, if you patch me through your comm system, I could send out an appropriate message. Make it so. Aye, Captain. And when the lawgiver left Gerrit, he said of the ruling council, they have taken my words and engraved them backwards. There is no response from the planet, Captain. There is no response, sir. Well, it was worth a try. There is no res- Sir, we are being hailed. Who is this that knows the Lawgiver's lament? I am Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? I shall need more information before I can trust you. Tell me more about yourself. We represent the United Federation of Planets. We are on a mission of peace. Is that why your ship is bristling with weapons? We use our weapons purely for defense. I see. And would the Federation be willing to defend us? Starfleet protects all of Federation space, which includes this system. If you wish, your world could even apply for Federation membership. I don't think the Romulans or Garidians would like that. They both have made claims on this world. That is unfortunate, but immaterial. Your planet is in Federation space. If you ask for our assistance, we will give it. That is a noble attitude. 
We have several Garidian refugees aboard. They are seeking to bring the wisdom of the Lawgiver's fifth scroll back to Garid. Garid had its chance, and it cast the Lawgiver and our ancestors aside. It is too late to mend their relations with us now. These are reformers hoping to use the Lawgiver's words to improve Garidian society. That is a cause the Lawgiver would have approved. You've given me much to think about, Captain. Allow me a few moments to consider it. I understand. We will remain in orbit and await your response. Sir, we are being hailed. On screen. I have decided to trust you. I am Larak, Chancellor of the planet, Phrygis. How did you know we were here? A Ferengi trader claimed he picked up some Garidian animals here. Aramut. We started dealing with him to purchase some outside technology and we gave him some animals in return. Fortunately, we never told him much about ourselves. How do you manage to conceal your entire planet? The technology is similar to the Romulan cloaking device. It fools sensors into misreading what they see. We had to protect ourselves in case Garrett's forces came after us. May I send some of my crew down to learn more about you? Since our deception is discovered, I suppose there is no harm in letting a small number of off-worlders visit. But there must be no Garidians in the party. They have not yet earned our trust. I agree to your terms, Chancellor. I shall send my first officer, Commander Riker, as my personal representative. Good, Captain. It is always gratifying to deal with a man of reason. I will transmit the landing coordinates to your computer. Thank you. Number one, this is an extremely important first contact situation. I want you to lead the away team. See if you can locate the fifth scroll for our Garidian passengers. Yes, sir. Beam down coordinates selected. May the Lawgiver's spirit smile on you. I am Chancellor Larak. Welcome to Phrygis. Thank you for letting us beam down. I'm Commander William Riker of the Starship Enterprise. Except for Aramut, we have not had outworld visitors since the Lawgiver brought us here. I have thousands of questions to ask, but I will do it at another time. How can I help you, Commander Riker? We're looking for information about the fifth scroll your Lawgiver brought here with him. Why are you aliens interested in our scroll? It may be the only way to prevent a civil war back on Garrett. Can you help us? I am afraid not. I am only in charge of the civil government. That is a religious matter, so you must ask the leaders of the sects for help. It's only been a thousand years since the Lawgiver left Garrett. Has your religion had such serious splits in so short a time? Sadly, yes. Even before the Lawgiver's death, his disciples began to disagree over the way his writings should be interpreted. They each made a copy of the Fifth Scroll that emphasized their own particular biases over all the others. That must have been confusing. It was worse than that. The Lawgiver became disgusted with them and hid his original manuscript, vowing that no one would find it until the sects learned to cooperate. From the way you're talking, I guess they never have. An accurate appraisal. The Lawgiver said he left the keys to the scroll's location with each of the sects. But so far, after centuries of feuding, all the sects have done is formalize their competition into the Declaratory. The Declaratory? Yes. A series of philosophical contests the sects hold every decade. The winner has the right to collect some prize from the loser. What are these pyramids? The pyramids are relics of an ancient race called the Chodak. 
They were here long before we arrived from Garrod. Each sect adapted a pyramid to serve as a transporter to their temple. We've heard of the Chodak, but it's rare to find evidence of their presence in this section of the galaxy. Oh yes, the Chodak Empire was vast indeed. Like the lawgiver before me, I have made extensive studies of their culture. I am actually considered something of an expert in the translation of Chodak runes. Well, you've been very helpful. Thank you. I must return to my other duties now, but I will monitor your progress as my schedule permits. May the spirit of the lawgiver guide your steps. May the wisdom of the Lawgiver ring sweetly in your ears. I am Songmaster Stambler, leader of the Chanters. Chan I'm Commander Riker of the Federation Starship Enterprise. What is this place? This is the practice hall of the Choir of Holy Intonations. Here we grow the pluvoids and perfect their chants. These pluvoids seem to be some form of plant life. Do they actually understand what they're singing? Not really, but they have beautiful tonal quality. That is important for holy chants. Why do you call yourselves the chanters? Our founder, Ifnik, believed the path to true enlightenment lies in singing. We grow these pluvoids and train them to sing holy songs. By focusing so deeply on the eternal mysteries, we gain a clearer insight into the nature of religion and salvation. Your instrument seems to be broken. What's wrong with it? Oh, we lost its sonic redigitizer to those discordant seekers in the declaratory many years ago. Why is there one hole that doesn't have a gold ring around it? Oh, we lost that ring to those discordant seekers in the declaratory many years ago. Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? What is wrong with the copy our sect has? We need the original for historical research purposes. Oh, I see. I do not think I can help you. Our sect has lost so many items in the declaratory that I doubt we would be very good treasure hunters. But some of our chants go back for centuries, even to the days of the lawgiver. Would you like to hear one? That's a very generous offer. I would love to hear your pluvoids sing. We are happy to oblige. This chant is called The Futility of Wisdom. <laughs> Thank you for letting us hear that. It was very enlightening. Since you enjoyed it so much, I shall give you an orchestrion that will let you listen to it whenever you wish. And feel free to visit us anytime. May the songs of the lawgiver bring you fulfillment. lovely temple you have here. Thank you. We constructed this chamber to optimize its acoustic effects. Thank you for your time.
Thank you for good. I am Media, the Gynarch of the Questers for Inner Strength. Chancellor Larock warned me about you. I'm Commander William Riker. What is this place? This is the Grand Penatorium, where my subjects meet to become more disciplined and more firm-willed. Your regimen sounds quite difficult. It is. Only the most dedicated can accomplish the regime. What about you? You would be a good candidate for discipline, if only I still had my scepter of light. Why do you call yourselves the Questers for Inner Strength? Our founder, Plegu, believed that the outer body must suffer to make the inner soul stronger. Only by learning to deny the sensations of our outer bodies can we make our spirits free. Why don't you still have your scepter of light? Those horrendous seekers took it from me during the last declaratory. I would give anything for it. We are planning revenge next time. Why do you have a force field inside your temple? There is a Chodak transporter pad behind it that the lawgiver frequently used during the last years of his life. We want to preserve it from prying eyes. Maybe the original fifth scroll is back there. May we investigate it? I have no desire to share my temple's treasures with aliens. Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? My people have always looked inside themselves for their strength. We have never cared for external things to aid our spiritual quest. Lovely temple you have here. Thank you. It stimulates our contemplations. You certainly wasted enough of it. May the Lawgiver's spirit grant you wisdom. I am Arch Rashan Nachu, chief assistant to his exalted prominence, Elant of the Seekers. Chancellor Larak told me to expect you. How may I be of service? I'm Commander Riker of the Federation Starship Enterprise. What is this place? It has many names. It is usually called the Hall of Triumph. But recently, some have called it the Path of No Return. Why is this normally called the Hall of Triumph? Our sect has been understandably successful in the declaratory contest. This is where we keep the prizes we have won, safe in our vault. When did this start being called the Path of No Return? More than a month ago, our leader Elant vanished through the Door of Enlightenment. He has not returned. What is this Door of Enlightenment you mentioned? At 
the end of this path is a door no one has ever opened. No one before Elant, that is. Why hasn't anyone opened this door before? There is a gatekeeper who jealously guards the doorway. He asks a series of questions when anyone tries to pass it. And if the person does not answer all the questions appropriately, the gatekeeper will not let him pass. Why is your group called the Seekers? Our founder, Baranam, believed that the path to enlightenment lies in searching for the truth. We are humble in our ignorance. Only the truth will free our souls. What is the gatekeeper like? It is a very advanced device with strange, almost telepathic powers. Some say it is hold over Chodak technology. And others say the Lawgiver had something to do with it. Isn't it possible that the original Fifth Scroll might be hidden on the other side of the Door of Enlightenment? I suppose so. But why should we risk our safety when we have the true copy of the scroll anyway? Can you help us find the original Fifth Scroll? I can let you see the true copy made by Baranam, our sect's founder. We're doing this for historical research. I'm sure you understand that no matter how good your copy is, we need to check the original for authenticity. I am afraid I cannot help you. The original was hidden by the Lawgiver many centuries ago, and I do not know where it is. Lovely temple you have here. Thank you. It pleases us. Thank you for your time.